was not with Kevin, Who guys. <laughs> um, the show must go on, Terry. He has a very interesting picture up. Their heads are cut out of mascots, apparently. JP, here we yeah. go. Let's play this game, JP. We're not even going to ask you to name the mascot. Can you name the school for each team our faces are on? Uh, I can only name two. Okay. That'd be I don't know what number that is. Oh, my goodness. Two. He's showing the no- name. Two. Yeah, uh, NC State <coughs> and North Carolina. That's yeah, you got it. So you got the two with the names on the, yeah, on the show. On yes. The show. So, two, so I you don't no know who idea. me or Tom are? No idea. Tom keeps moving. You're, you're some Tom kind of, is you're over some there, kind of Amish person, it looks like. I'm an know. Amish person. <laughs> that's close. And the other one looks like a potato head. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's that, what that, I call that, that is the is it. Mr. Potato accurate. Head, Tom. <laughs> you hit it with correct, <laughs> JP. <laughs> is the, 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 the Ohio State potato heads <laughs> and the Appalachian State Yamish folk. So I was right. Yeah, you were right. You're all over it, JP. All over it. There you go. Good morning, JP. You, you had your breakfast yet? No, I haven't gotten into it yet. I'm about to. All right. So well, has Appalachia State postponed their game because of Corona again? Yeah, the these dirty Charlotte people come come around. I think it's the other way around, friend. No, it's not. Who got canceled a, first? I think it's the other way around. Who got canceled first, Tommy? Oh, who got canceled first, Tommy? Who's got been canceled twice, Tommy? Yeah, after Charlotte, y'all gave us Charlotte. Charlotte. <laughs> y'all gave us Corona. I, I am one thousand percent sure there's more disease and and problems in charlotte than there is in boone north carolina yeah but we have like indoor plumbing in charlotte dirty i'm just saying it's a it's a major so we played let's see we played y'all and we haven't played since so (laughs) so, that's it just keep going just keep going yeah just do it that's it duke it out hunter and i talked about these wonderful NCAA rankings. Terry, you want to explain how North Carolina is where they are? I don't understand. <laughs> the, the, the rank, rank I mean, what's the Mac Brown wrote on the back of the shirt? So Matt, so the 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 well, UNC hey, Max. Terry, we're one Pittsburgh is three and zero, and they're twenty fifth. Yeah, I know. North Carolina is one and zero. Over over who'd you hey. beat? Syracuse. Yeah, Syracuse. Did Pittsburgh beat them too? Yeah, I picked yeah. Pittsburgh to beat Syracuse. So, listen, how are they 25th listen. and you're 11th? No, 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 listen. You can't 11. penalize somebody for not playing. We can't help it, Charlotte. You can't reward out somebody for just not being listen, good. I we mean. can't help that Charlotte backed out because they didn't have yeah. enough line. Y'all don't play a and then, soul and move and up. Then, and then, look. And then, we, and then and our 12. scheduled bye week hit. <laughs> so, it's not like we didn't play two teams back-to-back. Our scheduled bye week hit. And Charlotte backed out because they said it was unsafe. For us to play with the amount of linemen that we have. So I can't help that we're still 1-0 and and the team we were supposed to play backed out. Well, they've penalized Ohio State. They're down at six right now. Well, Should they be you, top five, you, forget, you forget. Let them play first. Yeah, I was going to say, you forget before, when they first put out the rankings, there was not a single Big Ten team or Pac-12 team in the rankings because they were not thought to play. So. Now they're they all, all just gonna. <coughs> now they're gonna, like start sprink- they're gonna start sprinkling. They're gonna start sprinkling them play. in. They're gonna sprinkle them in, and so Pittsburgh beat Syracuse, Louisville, who's ranked. Yeah, they beat the dog. And Austin, so, or Peace, they scored with and Louisville Austin a lot. State. Uh, and so they're three and zero, and that that equals a twenty fifth. Oh rank, no 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 no! Ranking. The biggest surprise and North ranking, Carolina is 11. the biggest surprise ranking to me is Miami. Where My God, Miami's like top ten. They're pretty good. What I've seen, they've they've scored a lot of points. They let Louisville score a lot with them. But Louisville's got the really good little running back though. <sighs> the He's surprise really good. team. Miami, Miami used to be in the top all the time. Yeah, man. I know. Right? That's what I mean. It's by not it's, like North Carolina. No, it's always been up there. Terry, Hunter, it's been here's... since the two early two. Th- it's been almost twenty years since Miami's actually been Hunter, relevant. Hunter, here's the difference. Think about mm-hmm. it. Here's the difference, though. Florida State and, you're and Florida right have that. always been above Miami for at least the past twenty years. And you're right on that. But here's the difference. Miami's one of those names where when they're three and zero, they're in the top ten. Pittsburgh's three and zero, they're twenty fifth. Yeah, I we right. have no idea how Carolina's eleventh right now. In under they've ne- under any circumstances in the history of that school, where they would be ranked eleventh well, hey. at one and zero with Syracuse. Well, win. just look at this though. Maybe the ACC is getting a little bit more recognition, so give them a little bit of credit. I guess the some the, people, I guess listen, the high school football scouting I, listen, I, I, as as good as Mel Kiper. You, you, you sit here Clawson. and complain all the time about it being always being. You could <laughs> off your hand, you could name the top five. Just I'll, you could name them, and we finally nice. we got and we reason. finally got somebody else that's actually creeping up in there. So you know Cincinnati's what, I'm happy team. about it. 
Listen, it, listen just it's, do it's it. nice to non name team listen, like that. Is the listen, place. but it's North weird Carolina plays and Boston and College today. They're gonna be two and zero, oh, and they'll jump whoever loses in front of them because <laughs> Auburn and Georgia play today. So. Well, I want to tell you what I heard last week. North Carolina State's playing Virginia Tech. Mm-hmm. They have twenty three players on Virginia Tech that do not play. They got four coaches who are not there. Even their defensive coordinator is not there, and they destroy North Carolina State. We look like a <laughs> optimist team who's learning to play. We did not know how to knock the ball down. I mean, our corners were just getting beat, and the guy would just turn right in front of him, and we couldn't reach around him to knock the ball down for touchdowns. Yep, at Pittsburgh. But it, it, I'm going to tell you the worst part about it is when the game was over and they're speaking to Dave Dorn, he sits there and says, it's been a rough year so far. It's and been I'm two like, games. We've played two <laughs> games. <laughs> and you, you won know? one of them. <laughs> yeah, but I'm like, we've played two games, and you're saying, oh, it's been a rough year so far. <laughs> I'm like, 2020 oh, my in Lord. Jerry. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, I guess we, I say, he's speaking in totality no, of 2020. Well, what the problem is, if you're saying that now, look out, buddy. We're probably not going to win maybe one or two more, and that's it. So I need If we have a chance. I need y'all to explain some things. All Last right. week, I didn't have a single person want to take Kansas State to beat Oklahoma. I know we only would you would have taken time. Kansas State to just beat Oklahoma? Oklahoma, I, if you were putting money, I didn't on have, it, would I you didn't have anybody pick Mississippi State over LSU? Now that we should have saw, we yeah. should have saw that coming. Yeah, if, I, if we'd have done a little bit more research on that and how much LSU lost off the yeah. defense, they didn't have a five starters turning back on offense yeah. and defense. Yeah, so, yeah, I mean, you know, we, that yeah. really, yeah. Happened. I mean, didn't somebody almost pick or did pick Georgia Southern to beat Louisiana? I took Georgia Southern. Didn't you take Southern. Georgia Southern? Said, they they almost did. They lost by two. Yeah. I'll give you that. They almost did it. Yeah. They but did. almost was not good enough. I was getting ready to say. They almost they lost. won. That's still they lost. don't work. <laughs> they don't work. No. <laughs> Louisiana. All right. Raging we have a more time still to pick kicking. them. We'll, we'll let you guys go across the board on these. Uh, here we go. The Gamecocks <clears throat> are in the swamp today. Florida favored by 16. Florida looks really good, man. I like Florida. I, like in the I got Florida. That is just Florida. Yeah. TCU at Texas, who almost lost last week when nobody playing defense in the big quarterback. No. Well, they're talking about the kid from Texas, the big quarterback, still an NFL prospect. Ellinger. Yeah. Texas yeah. Uh, ranked ninth, favored by 10. I, I don't know why they're favored by 10. TCU beat them last year. Yeah, but at home, I like Texas. Quarterbacks playing well. I, like I guess Texas. it's not packed, at least. I'm taking Texas. Yeah. I'll take Texas. Drinkowitz, does he get his first win in Neyland Stadium? The 21st-ranked Vols are favored by 12 Good over God, Missouri no. Tigers. Good God, give me Tennessee Rocky Top. Right, but Missouri looked inept yeah, against Alabama. Uh, I like Tennessee. Tennessee. Tennessee's on the upswing. Tennessee yeah. probably Drinkowitz. Oh, well, I'm going to tell you now, there's another team that is almost like Carolina. Everybody wanted to stick them into polls every year. Tennessee. Yeah, now all yeah. of a sudden, here they are pretty decent. Now, whoop, they're in the polls. Yeah, yeah. Drinkowitz is getting a feel of that SEC. The he? voters like Tennessee and the voters like North Carolina it, for random on random things right now. Probably, well, they probably like North Carolina because the quarterback and the head coach is actually established. It's 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 something there. NC State at Pittsburgh. Uh, Terry. No. I'm not answering this Pittsburgh. Now, Sorry. Pittsburgh goes to 4-0. <laughs> should they, should they, how, where should they be ranked? Well, they if get, they go to four and zero, they'll at least be ranked twentieth. Do they fall out of the top ten <laughs> after beating State Terry? Like, well, you like, know, like, like well, you know, how <laughs> yeah. I mean, you got to win before you get in the top twenty? We got two guys coming back today on defense, but that's not going to help us. Our defense can't stop nobody. Texas A and M number thirteen at number two, Bama. Now Pittsburgh is favored by fourteen against State. Bama is favored by eighteen. On a two versus thirteen matchup, I think. Hey, where they, is it in Tuscaloosa? It's in Alabama. Yeah, but with no fans, and and here's the stat: like I think Saban's nine and one against his former assistants, or something crazy yeah, like that. He destroys all of them. Yeah. So I, Jimbo <laughs> used to work under Nick yeah, Saban. I can't remember where, yeah. but yeah, he's a former assistant. I thought he used to work under. Um, I don't know Bobby was, Bowden. Uh, I don't know if it was at LSU or or it wasn't where. at the Dolphins. Or Dolphins no. or whatever. But well, regardless, I, <laughs> this is to me. Well, yeah. Alabama actually plays a lot of ranked opponents this year. It's not just the cakewalk. Mond, the quarterback for Texas A&M, is a return. I think he's like a senior, junior, senior. 
he would be the only X factor, but I I'll think it take, makes. I'll take Alabama. I don't but. Know if you guys remember a couple of years ago where Texas A and M, I think it was maybe Fisher's first year, where they played Clemson really, really tough mm-hmm. and almost beat them. Yeah. I think it's going to be a game like that. I think Texas A and M is going to hang around. It's I think early. they cover. I think they've got a pretty good team. I think they cover Alabama, eighteen. Yeah. I mean, come on, eighteen. I really? think Alabama. I think Alabama is going to win. But Alabama be close. Win. Number twelve, Tar Heels at Boston College. Yeah. Boston College is two and zero. Oh. Now, Terry, the same conference. They're 2-0. and They're not ranked. But Carolina's 12th. I watched Boston College play a uh, last week a Texas State or somebody mm-hmm. that they fell behind and didn't come back. And yeah, won. Texas State, they beat them by a field goal, Terry. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I, this is scary. Roll North Carolina. Yeah. Are the Texas State the fighting armadillos? I don't know. I, I'm taking Carolina. <laughs> I don't like it. Didn't Carolina the movie being reference. the top uh-huh. 10 next week, y'all. He is, he is way too young for that. <laughs> what? Is it the armadillos? No, him. Oh, you okay. should know. Let's talk about Hunter. You know Texas, this Texas State armadillos from Necessary Roughness where yeah. Kathy yeah. Ireland was the kicker. That was like not a real school in the no, early 90s. No, it was not. <laughs> it wasn't even a real school. <laughs> so uh, uh, they almost beat Boston College last week. So uh, I, I like Boston Co- I mean, excuse me. I like uh, Carolina to go up and beat Boston College. It is up in Chestnut Hill. So yeah, I, I think that's a tough place to play. It's a tough place to play. And uh no maybe fans. they was overlooking the Texas. State. I don't know how many I wonder how many fans are they letting anybody in? Boston College is one on the road. In Massachusetts, no. <laughs> in their governor. Who was their governor? I don't know. I'm not up on Massachusetts politics. Isn't I mean, everyone I, in Massachusetts a Democrat? I know every one of their congressional districts is a Democrat, so <laughs> yes. <awesome>. Okay. <laughs> they have I do, no fans. I do know that. No fans. No so fans. I, I guess we're, we're going to assume no fans, but I, I like I like, uh, they Tampa. Be, I like I like what – and everybody, give Mac Brown some credit. Why does nobody want to give Mac Brown they did. on He's this 12. show any credit? They no, understand. He's done a great job. I don't understand. Yeah, he's, he's done a great job he's when done a, he left Carolina. He's done a great job. He rec- done a good job when he was at Carolina. His first five years at Carolina, he ne- didn't win nothing. But he's done. But a then great- he recruited and he had some players and he won his last. Isn't five. that but, every but school? My, my opinion is, and like I am no fan of Carolina, but he has brought legitimacy <clears throat> and and pride. And, and and belief back in that program yeah, and like y'all don't want to give him credit for y'all and Kevin's laughing <laughs> he has Kevin I don't care what you say he is a, okay, he is I'll, legitimate right, you've said some is, big words we went <laughs> broad, broad, broad thing. Listen, I want facts we what <laughs> top twenty five team has UNC beat since he's been back I don't know the answer is there an answer. Have they beat anybody have other but oh, have to They played back. Clemson close. They got close one time, Terry. Yeah, they played yeah. Clemson They beat close. a bunch of you ACC scrubs, Let me see if I can and they got beat a whole by App State. But that's the year, me. Uh, the, the, year the, prior, okay, okay. the year prior. The year prior, Fedora won two games. Okay. The next year, Mac Brown won seven. I, I would I, say I, that's I, a pretty yeah, substantial jump. Who did he beat? Okay. Well, we went, they, okay, you go from one and two. Okay, yeah. think about it. The Browns go from zero and sixteen to winning three. That's still a pretty substantial jump. And they you won. beat the teams that you were supposed <laughs> to beat. They did. Well, and sometimes what, Dallas don't even do that, Terry. So I, I mean, I. And what about I'm glad that, that we can establish the, I, we what beat about the, the big teams we're supposed Mercer, to beat. Kevin, come on. <laughs> I, are you looking at their, <laughs> well, their yeah, wins yeah, last year? Who they beat last year? Okay, they they did not. They didn't have a ranked team on their schedule, but that's not their fault because the ACC is kind of weak. Garbage. Okay, but I just think that it's isn't it fun to have huh? somebody in the ACC besides. Clemson. There's three teams and right screaming in the top, old Dabo. There's three ACC that. teams in top ten right now. Yeah, but I'm, I'm talking. That's what I'm saying right Notre now. Dame. But but that's this what I'm, year. But that's what I'm saying. In years past, there haven't been enough good teams. Florida State. What's happened to them? I'm glad Miami's back. I'm glad Carolina's competitive. I'm glad to see Pittsburgh. Let's get some competition going for Clemson so Dabo just doesn't waltz yeah, I'm to the playoffs you know every year. Yeah, absolutely, Tom. Yeah. Thank you. And I'm glad yeah. Clemson and Notre Dame play in the regular season and not in the ACC championship game. I mean, I think Clemson wins that game, but at least it's not going to be let's just waltz our way to the championship every year like Dabo does. Give him, let's see if he can coach. Give him some more I mean, North competition Carolina don't play a year. ranked opponent this year until their last <laughs> One of the two out of the three games, but it's Notre Dame and Miami. So they're going to get curb stomped in whatever bowl oh, they're Lord, in. <laughs> Who's that? It's Carolina. But now I want no, to tell you something. Yes, they if are. we think no, if won't. we think the ACC is bad, the <laughs> SEC is not much better because last week they were thumped a lot of times. Well, LSU is not what they were. 
Yeah, LSU and, and Missouri's not very good. And in some of them, and I don't know, Mississippi State with Leach down there. And it was funny. You know what? I don't care if you like a lot of people love to hate that guy because he's he can be a jerk. Yeah, he can. But he's he came out there in the interview and says, Well, the Dallas Cowboys and Green Bay Packers weren't available this week, so we decided to play these guys. <laughs> because he's talking about LSU. I love Mike Leach. But he they were but I was, I was thinking, now Mike, that's not the two thousand nineteen yeah. LSU Tigers you just beat. But I, I think, you know, he he can turn that program around. I mean, it was a few years back they were in the top five, yeah. you know. So I, I think right. that I think it's fun to see some other teams besides like, you know, Clemson every Thank year in, 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 in the ACC. I 100% agree. I mean, if they earn it, I will get Pat him on the back when they start beating teams. I agree. Hey, but I this agree. is who they beat Listen, last year, too. You beat who's on your schedule. South yeah. Carolina has a powerhouse. Uh, got beat by Wake Forest, that great team up in uh, We beat Salem. Miami, who's ranked this year, huh? Well, I'm talking about last uh-huh. year, Hunter. I know, I'm just saying. Beat now, we're sitting here giving year. them a lot of credit for being ranked in the top 10 this year. Okay. Um, yeah. We beat them last year. Now, explain App State. I mean, how much? Now, di- explain App State. Uh, well, talk uh, Miami, we, then we'll talk last uh, year. We missed a App field State. goal to win the game. Hangover. I mean, That's what it was. We, I mean, You're we missed a field goal. Four quarters. You missed a field goal. It was a hangover. <laughs> I mean, we missed a field goal. Four quarters. And and I, I, if I remember correctly, what led up to that is... They, they were they, owned for remember the emotion the emotional game. I remember it was it was Mac Brown's first game because I listened to it on the so radio. They beat South Carolina. It was a very emotional game. Now I know South Carolina wasn't very good, Kevin. That was the first game. That. Then they beat but, Miami. Then they yeah. lost to Wake yeah, Forest. But they had two. Then they lost to App yeah, State. But then it, they it was, lost to Clemson. Then they beat the rambling wreck of Georgia Tech. You know, it was a little. Nerds. It was a little bit of hangover with the Appalachian State. Every I'm just saying, Max Brown resume last year includes wins over Georgia Tech, Mercer, Temple, and Duke, and NC State. Okay. let's crown well, him. Well, he be, he. Yeah, be, think of that, y'all. I didn't say, say crown. Him. I didn't. Did I say crown? Do you want to crown him? Did I say crown him? I said that Denny Green. He's brought yeah, confidence and legitimacy that. and pride <laughs> and competitiveness back to Chapel Hill. He which, beat North Carolina which, State last year with eight defensive starters not even on the field. Temple and Mercer. All right, let's go on. Give the guy some credit. He, he's great at beating terrible teams. Is that good enough for you? He's got a national championship. Oh, my God. If Kevin deems a guy doesn't deserve the credit, he's not getting credit. Ooh, Terry agrees with that's just. I agree. <laughs> I just... I'm sorry. Those two agree. That's just no. I, I, we're, we're in trouble. They they knock off in, a good no, we're in trouble. No, I'll, I'll say. Okay, These are like no. the shifting alliances of right, 18th Oklahoma century State, Europe. You know, you don't know 20, who's your friend 23 today. in Kansas. Oh God! Yeah, they blow the doors Kansas off. Who? Kansas Cowboys and Jayhawks. Yeah, Oklahoma, Oklahoma State. State. Yep, yeah, yeah, I like Oklahoma doors State. Off. Memphis Tigers, guys. This is here. We go. We got to toss up. Let's tear up the table. Memphis 25 at SMU even. Ooh. One and zero versus three and zero. SMU is three and zero. Memphis only played. Who's one SMU play? I don't want to click on it because yeah, it I might take that. me a minute to get back to yeah. it. <laughs> it's too much. I mean, it's almost. Well, there's so much going on right now. It's hard to keep up. No one is on the edge of their seats, Tom, for your Memphis SMU yeah. pick. So just pick it. I'm taking SMU. Okay, <laughs> I'm, I'm going to go SMU. SMU. I'm going to go SMU. SMU. Yeah. All right, now this is what people listen to more. Here Hell we go. Yes. Let's, yeah. The Tigers of Auburn Ooh. in Georgia. Seven the South's versus oldest rivalry. Four. Georgia's favored by seven and a half. As in we the should Athens. be. As we should be. There's a possibility. They said JT Daniels might be the quarterback this weekend. He was not medically cleared last week, um, but now he is medically cleared this week. The freshman that we had, uh, we put him in early last week, and he looked god awful he looked like he didn't he was not prepared for the college game so he's gonna need a little bit more work next guy that we brought in played fantastic and that's how we ended up blowing that game out eventually so you know what hey i give us a great shot the problem is is auburn has got a quarterback that's established bo nix is good and that mm-hmm. that name fits the sec bo oh bo um, nix i'm just he's gonna tell you good, this man too. look at look at georgia's next year they play auburn they oh, yeah, have five out of our next they, six. They have to play Tennessee, but they get the – that's what we'll see what Tennessee's made of. Yeah. I really think that, that, that's – that's Tennessee? No, it's it's between the hedges. So, yeah. I mean, that, that, give, that gives Georgia yeah, – And, that's a, that's and a then they go to <clears throat> Alabama. Mm-hmm. That is just murderous room. Wait, they, oh, we got the screwed. We got five out of our – five out of six weeks at one point we're playing a ranked opponent. Yeah, then they have to go after they – Kentucky, because we got to play Florida. Not bad. Kentucky's not bad. we glad bad. you don't got to play the Tar Heels, Hunter. Y'all but then they have to play – uh, Florida, yeah, 
And then it gets a little easier. Missouri, South Carolina, Vanderbilt, three other last four. Mississippi State, mm-hmm. thanks, you know, right before Thanksgiving. That will be that'll be interesting. To I see compare if, their schedule to be battle, the Carolina be schedule. Yeah, that'll be battle test. Here's a, a, the difference between being that. fourth and <laughs> being twelve. Here's a funny thing though. This is kind of related to the SEC. I was listening and the, some of the guys are debating whether Coach Ogeron is on the hot seat. I'm oh, like, I've already what, heard that. Wait a minute. I've already wait heard a minute. Didn't he win that show? This guy just now, won the national listen, championship. Somebody made a very good people? point. Come on. He I know. Come on. Come on. The year prior to them winning the national championship, Coach O was, there was a rumor that yeah. he was going to get fired. Yeah. Well, that, yeah. But at the same time. And you then, got a transfer he, guy <laughs> that come there to make you look good. Now you you could I could argue that okay maybe he's not as good as that team so was last year. So he won with this but guy, but you're not now gonna he's back this on is, the same seat is, he was on. This is not the year for it to be a hot seat though. This is not the year they that you saw. Why not? It. Because the NFL just took away every single player that he that, give a outside, break. outside of Burrow, every player yeah, that they I got agree. drafted, he, he had. He's got a, he's got a year. Yeah. Now, if he doesn't recruit. Now he's in trouble. He does need to find. A, say, he needs to find a yeah. replacement for Burrow. Well, next he'll jump back over to Ohio State and see if they got any quarterbacks. That's what I say. You know, you know, they'll they'll probably rate our talent again. Yeah, people that don't like snow, they'll go to yeah. Louisiana. But give him a year to let him recruit. I mean, just mm-hmm. just give That's him a year. I I, I know why the murmuring is out there because he was on the hot seat the year prior. But this year, after what the draft just took him, good lord! Oh, we have a phone. Call. We have a special caller. Uh, JP, you got him on the line? You got him? Is Thomas, you there? Hey, good morning, guys. How you doing? This is Thomas Borgello of uh, Friendship Chrysler Jeep Dodge Ram and Nissan. That is it. What's up? How much, guys? I just wanted to call in real quick. You guys are talking about North Carolina and Boston College. I don't know if you're aware that we're wearing the white-on-white uniforms today with Ooh, the Carolina blue helmets. So that's going to look good. That's going to factor in. <laughs> that's gonna look good thomas what about these guys not wanting to give mac brown any credit what do you think about that i, I think you better go back to the first time where he coached there and check how many bowl games he took us to i mean well, I, he went five and five five losing seasons five winning seasons but i, I a bunch of bowl games. he's he he's brought back the swag I would say that. Oh, I, he really has. I mean, I, I, you know, he, I, he, he can recruit as, as good as anybody, and he's got a great staff. I mean, when you take, it, take Dre Bly and make him your defensive backs coach, I mean, he was a stud. Yeah, sometimes sometimes when it comes to coaching staffs, it helps that they obviously know the game to be able to coach the players, but if he, if it's a name like Dre Bly, yeah, I'll give him credit to sometimes him. that'll get a, reg- a defensive <laughs> yeah. back really interested in saying, wow, well, this guy had a lot of success at the next level. Maybe what he's going to teach me is really going to transfer over here at the college level. So I agree. Oh, I think Mac, I think Mac Brown, you know, the, you know, people want to, to poo poo it when they say, Oh, the, the name alone can't be it. I'm saying he's one of the only six college coaches, seven, I think now with Ed Orgeron, one one that can go into a recruit's room and say, I have won a national championship. Would you like to come and play for me? It's a big deal. It I mean, is a big deal. Yeah, these guys here, these guys here are Mac this is the official Mac Brown Haters Club, <laughs> KTC. Haters so club. they're they're not wanting to give him credit just yet. And Kevin's got a smirk on his face over here because Well we're still trying is... to figure out who always be. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> now he hasn't played the toughest schedule. We we I do agree with him on that. But He's let's been give him a chance. North Carolina for one yeah. year. What do you want? Like, he, yeah. What do you want? Well, well I'll tell you something. Over your your way and I know and I know He's listening. He's, he's oh, okay. on radio. Right. Go ahead. But over your way, you got any Carolina stuff on any of your Jeeps and all to sell to people over there? <laughs> <laughs> we don't, but I think it's a great idea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ter- Terry's trying to get you to give him a, a quote unquote loaner vehicle, maybe for a couple of years that he can drive around <laughs> and, and just and just promote friendship I could over promote there. you, man. You know, <laughs> but only Carolina Blue. You can't give the Wolfpack hey, fan a red car. Hey, listen, I'm I'm all in on on you know, promoting us and letting you ride around Lincoln County. That's that's where I live. But uh, you know, Tom, your brother, I mean, that's where he got his chair. Oh yes. And I, I I'd like and, to tell you he he and his girlfriend have both purchased vehicles from y'all, and he loves that Grand Cherokee. He won't let me get in it, Thomas. I'm not allowed in the vehicle. 
Okay. <laughs> hey, when you're ready, when you're ready, Tom, come on down. The gladiators right now are being sold at employee pricing plus a little bonus cash off. So uh-huh. we can set you up with probably the best deal ever. And you could let one of your former students do your paperwork. Who's that? Michelle Walker. Oh, really? Michelle's down there now? I know she was in Shelby for a while, so I'm glad. That, that, yeah. She's a good kid. I remember Michelle when she worked at the mall when she was a teenager. So it's been a long, long time. I'm glad you got a good employee there. Oh, she's fantastic. She's one of the best in the company. And whenever Dan bought his uh, Grand Cherokee and she's like, Cinefani, you know, and then your name came up. She was like, oh, my God, he used to be one of my teachers. So, you know, you should stop by and see us. Okay. Well, you make sure you tell, tell Michelle I said hello. And when I'm ready to buy, well, when I'm ready to be cool, I'm going to come down there and get me a gladiator. Come on down, man. <laughs> okay, I appreciate it. Hot dogs. <laughs> I appreciate so, it. So, Tom, Thank you. So, Thomas, you're picking uh, Boston College today. Is that what you're saying? Is that what you're saying? I'm sorry you're breaking up. I'm all the way in with the heels, baby. There we go. All right, that's awesome. Probably have my those five touchdown passes. Chad Threat might have 15 tackles. I don't know. Possibly. All right. Y'all have a good day. Well, okay. Well, thank you for calling in. Thanks, Thanks for calling you. in. Thank you, Tom. Saturday you want and talk whatever no about whatever you want, sir. All right, brother. Yes, sir. Have a good one. Give a... Uh, Thomas and the gang call uh, up there, Tom. You got all the yeah. I have the uh, phone number eight two eight nine one nine three zero zero one. That's for Chrysler Jeep Dodge Ram. Uh, that's at one ninety Oak Street Extension for City and Friendship Nissan. You know what their top selling vehicle for the Nissans are? Is it the Altima? It's uh, yeah. That's not a bad guess. It's actually the Rogue. Okay, really. The little four door, mm-hmm. the little SUV, cool looking little SUV. Go. I'm sure they got plenty of Rogues down there. Friendship Nissan, 156 Oak Street Extension in Forest City. Phone number 828-245-1661. And I, and I can tell you, my brother and his girlfriend did purchase vehicles, and they're they very pleased with is it. Is it safe to, to guess that maybe that, that might be our number one fan that called yeah. in? Yeah. It might be our number one fan. Look at that, guy. And, and if you're real special to him, he'll put a NC State logo <laughs> on the back of your car. Oh, God. Yeah. That sounds you like just got done trashing your team. Oh, Why so, would you so, want to have a logo So, so on Tom... <laughs> Yeah, uh, I, I I feel for you. I think you're too close to the fire. You've been around, your daughter's like 18, 19. You're, you teach high school, and, and you just said me and Terry are haters. You, you, and those <laughs> kids today like to change the words of things. So what's the new word? I call diabo- I call fact telling. Fact telling. Me and Terry said nothing bad. Did we say he was a bad coach? Did we no. say they were a bad team? No. We want to know how you're you ranked. implied it. No, see. <laughs> You're you, reading you into what you think. You're what your you own think personal bias saying. what we're saying. All you we're saying it. is it, we, you shouldn't be crowned it's right now. a smirk on your face when you say, <laughs> say things. Your, your Listen, face tells the story. He did a great job. He won two Gator Bowls, a Car Quest Bowl, and a Peach Bowl. That's, that's Appalachian State territory, okay? He, he did good last time he was around. So, uh, listen, they, they started here last time. One and ten, one and ten, six and four, seven and four. Fifth year, nine wins. Okay, that's where you show improvement. Well, in his fifth year, this time he'll be eighty-seven years old, Hunter. We I don't we don't know if that's he's not right. eighty-seven. <laughs> he is not eighty-seven. That was the one shot I took. There you go. I'll give you that one. <laughs> he just said facts, 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 and then he I called Mac Brown listen, eighty-seven. I took if one Nick shot. Saban can keep coaching, Mac Brown sure as hell can. Listen, they can keep yeah. coaching as long as the what? boosters are paying the players. Honey. God, yeah. What? Nick, God, Sa- yeah. Nick Saban that's could not probably, even on the same category. I'm talking age wise. <laughs> even what are you though talking about no, Nick Saban's in his sixties. Right, even though, even though I hate Nick same. Saban, he could probably out Pete, bench press anybody. Pete on Carroll is older than both of them. Pete Carroll's in his seventies and is coaching at the NFL level. See, but the NFL is the old man's game because you don't have to be the raw rock guy anymore. you, got guys, you see well, what i mean well, still, you don't just, have to be I'm the raw i'm just saying rock. at I'm their age so. they can still you don't, you don't have to be dabbo you, you don't have to be the screamer Pete Carroll, people i'm i'm on his side because i hope i look that good when i'm at age i, was, he I does, knew you were he, gonna go there yeah. he don't look it he, he looks like no he's in his early like makeup and stuff but anyway yeah i'll say this and what i'm scared of i don't even really think it's the age i think it's the mentality of the coach like they talked about dabo sweeney going to the nfl that wouldn't work he's a raw raw screw yeah. that that doesn't work you know who would be ryan day Ryan Day would be a great NFL coach. I'm scared Tom, to death. you better death. hold your tongue. The New I'm York scared Jets to death. might be looking for I'm a new scared coach, to and death. that might Terry. be him. He would because he's got the mentality for it. Last, mm-hmm. Let me get this straight. He's I'm got the demeanor for it. Trying to get college football straight. Let's get this if right. If you win the national championship, the coach should be fired. 
But if you win the national championship 20 years ago at another school, you should be ranked 11. 20 years ago? It's 15 years ago. Okay, whatever. Either way, Fire Ogeron put a bronze statue of Mac Brown. I just want to make sure. I can't we get, help Mac Brown decided the, to go to the booth. We're, we're getting the statue. I didn't say right. Fire Ogeron. I'm saying people today, that's, that's, what, that's the atmosphere. See, you can't Fire Ogeron anyway because he is so Louisiana anyway. Got it. That's not going to I mean, cool, 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 and, uh, that's just the way he talks, huh? That's the way they talk down <laughs> there. Go 18, Oklahoma at Iowa State. Oklahoma fell all the way to 18 from, what, third? They deserved They're it. They're one and one. They deserved it. The way they gave that game away They did at give that home. game away. They're favored by they seven gave it and away half at home. Home. Road at the side Iowa State lost to Louisiana. Yeah, though. they gave it away. They blew the game, they were and they a, fall 15 spots. That's what I'm saying. They, they should fail 15 spots they instead of at least, like, I understand falling, but you fell fit. You Maybe tumbled. the 10th. You don't lose Not that, that game to an unranked team at home when you're up. What were they up? 18 points in the fourth quarter? God, this sounds a lot like the Falcons. Again, <laughs> Pittsburgh is 3-0 and and ranked 25th, and we're arguing about Oklahoma. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, why? If you get beat at home by a subpar opponent, you deserve it. i tell you what, Oregon. Bounce, Oregon. bounce back one. game. Bounce back game. Oregon 0-1 still ranked ahead of Pittsburgh. Huh? I mean, not Oregon. LSU. I'm saying Oregon. I'm looking at Orgeron. <laughs> I'm looking at LSU saying He's saying looking Orgeron, at LSU saying Oregon. Oregon. <laughs> and I'm like, they're that not even awful. playing that right now. That was terrible. That was terrible. Use the pen like how Corso does on college game day. <laughs> not so fast. It's, 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 uh, it's, it's not so, so fast. So the table, are you guys picking Vanderbilt over LSU this week? No. No. Okay. no. no. Uh, I don't even know what Vanderbilt's got. Anyone, they got anything? Anyone picking Virginia at upset Clemson? Not at all. And no. Friday night, last night, BYU beat LSU. All right, t- JP, we got to go. <laughs> Louisiana Tech. Yeah, L- L- Louisiana Get Tech. Get your sh- La- Oregon. La- Oregon. La- Oregon. Oh, you gonna prom- so you gonna promote wrong. Calvin's? You gonna promote Calvin's remote today? No, okay. uh, in a little bit. Uh, okay. JP, you're up. Oh, we'll be back in a minute. KDCBroadcasting.com. Wouldn't it be nice if you could go look at a new car or truck and you didn't have to worry about getting caught up in those?